One day, Thomas the Tank Engine was at Nabford Station when Thomas the Tank Engine pulled into Platform 5. What? Hello, said Thomas. I'm Thomas. Who are you? Uh... Thomas. That's impossible, replied Thomas, because I'm Thomas. Uh, no, I think you're Plus dangerous. eyed the newcomer doubtfully. I I'm sorry, but... I'm Thomas. I don't know how, what to tell you. Could you be Thomas? Said the, said Thomas. I'm Thomas. I literally have the... I'm the number one blue tank engine. I don't see your number one. And number one is on my side, said Thomas. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, it's there, said Thomas. Just then, the guard blew Thomas's whistle. Thomas blew his whistle, and Thomas had to leave. Real Thomas was confused. He pondered why an engine would ever want to pretend to be him. Just what? then, the guard blew his whistle, and he had to leave. Uh, okay. Thomas the tank engine was very confused. He, never before had he had to deal with someone for trying to steal his identity. Why would he be trying to steal my identity? Oh, hey, oh, there he is. Thomas the tank engine didn't respond. Okay. Besides, I didn't throw in myself, I guess. I don't know. Off I go, I guess. Thomas was at Tinmouth Station, he saw Gordon the Big Proud Engine pull in. Hello, Tom, wait, what? Hello, what? said Thomas, you seem confused. You... Uh... Thomas, you look a little sick today, are you okay? Never been better, said Thomas. In fact, I feel as fit as a fiddle. You look like James. Thomas appeared confused. Me? Looking like James? I would never. Uh, are you sure? Positive. I'm the number one blue tank engine. I don't see your number still. I don't, I don't see your number though. Really? Thomas rolled his eyes. It appears that nobody can see my number one today. I need a good wash down in that case. And he pulled out of the station. Okay. Meanwhile, Sir Topham Hatt was going through some mail that he had stolen from the mail car when Thomas the Tank Engine raced into the yard. Sir, 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 sir! We have an imposter on our hands. Thomas, it's not imposter anymore. It's intruder. Maybe, maybe get the new Among Us update, said the Fat Controller. No, that's not what I mean. We have, we have. That's not what I mean about Among Us. That shit game. We have an imposter engine on our hands. An imposter engine? This is something that I haven't heard about before. Tell me more, Thomas. It, he looks like James, but he's blue, and and he says that he's Thomas the Tank Engine. When I'm the, when I'm Thomas the Tank Engine, he even says he has a number one, which he does not. Sir Top and Pat pondered for a moment before responding. I want you to take me to this engine straight away. All right. Uh, you might. You know. Just get me something to ride in because I can't get into your cab. It's just a black void in there, and I am too fat to fit in there with your driver and fireman. Shall I get me a brake van or something? All right, sir. I will be right back. Be snappy about it. This is John engine. Don and this Don and Poster engine. <laughs> Good enough. Thomas the tank engine got a coach for Sir Topham Hat to ride in. Get on, jump on in, sir. Right, just whip it around. Let's get going. Oh, young bow, said Thomas. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. 
Mr. Thomas, you have someone that would like to talk to you. Boy, is it a fan of mine? Asked Thomas. So who is it? Oh, um, it's a, it's a, the leader of the railway. Sir Topham had it? Tony the Chank Engine, this is very uncalled for you to do. Tony the Tank Engine? I don't know who you're talking about. I'm Thomas the Tank Engine. Wait, his name is Tony, sir? Yes, it is. Apparently, Tony suffers from identity issues or something like that. Builder didn't quite tell me the whole details. Okay. Then, Tony the tank engine began to cry. He explained to the real Thomas about how he suffered from identity issues because nobody liked his normal self. He figured if he pretended to be Thomas, then everybody would like him. Oh, well, that's really sad. Um, that's really sad, Phaedra. But, um, I, I kind of like you as a friend. You do? Asked Tony. Yeah, I'm sure if I introduce you to everyone, they could like you too. Tony beamed with delight, and he was so happy in fact that he spun his eyes around and promised to never pretend to be like Thomas again. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and say hi. Okay, said Tony, as he blew his whistle, wet off steam, and ran off to go find Thomas's other friends. Bye, hero! <laughs> I'm scared, Thomas.